up guys welcome to the second part of my vlog if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe right here I always upload uh, tutorials and anything that's related to guitars I show some licks I do vlogs about meeting guitar players guitar builders guitar luthiers uh, I do some interviews sometimes I do some my oh, some of my own covers for songs and some original music so if you're into that make sure to subscribe uh, on this second part of my vlog I wanted to share with you my trip to Quebec City where I went to meet Julian Sublet, he's a fantastic young luthier and apparently he has a roommate which I didn't even know about. Uh, his name is Loic Bourteau from uh, Bushrow Guitars. You can see uh, his uh, website down here, I'm gonna link it below. And um, I basically spoke to both of them and this second part of the vlog is with Loic mostly. Uh, so you can check out how he builds guitar, the process, uh, how he designs them and the thought behind every uh, feature of the guitars that he builds. Uh, anyway, check it out and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. All right, talk to you later. Loic Borto of Bushro Guitars. Uh, I've been building guitars for four years now. And uh, so yeah, this is my part of the shop. Uh, I've been, I set the shop here three years ago. Uh, I started from scratch because here actually, uh, basically it was a, a living room. Oh, okay. uh, well, it was a it was a yeah a room like really not uh, meant to become a, a, a workshop, but I I have like very good uh, owners that let me do pretty much everything I, I want in here. Nice. And then to split the to to split the the rent uh, and to give uh, people opportunity to start a building, I I rent another space next to mine to uh, to have a. A young builder with me, so Julian from Sublet Guitars. Hi, <laughs> Julian. <from. laughs> yeah, so we both uh, graduated the, the same Luthery school in Quebec City, uh, and which is a pretty good base to start to start building on our on our own. Even though the this school is pretty underrated and not very well known, but uh, yeah, we're. We are now building here, so yeah, that's yeah. Cool. I mean, they look great. We'll do some playing videos soon. I have two guitars on the bench right now, uh, both OM models uh, with uh, Indian Indian rosewood back inside and seat Casper stuff. Uh, both for customers. Uh, very very uh, basic entry level guitars. No fancy thing uh, about them. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that, that's what pays the bill, so. <laughs> and then after that, I'm gonna uh, start two new uh, builds. Uh, one new model, a uh, uh, small jumbo model, and also uh, a fancier uh, OM model with Ziri Cody back and sides and uh, seat casters. And what kind of wood is this, Indian rosewood? Yeah, Indian rosewood, yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, I just finished binding those those bodies, uh, and I'm gonna uh, apply the varnish on them in about uh, a couple of weeks. Sweet. So, how long does it take from start to finish when you build a guitar? For a very basic model like this, it takes about 150 hours, so two to three months, depending wow. on the on the flow. Uh, and after that, can go can go way longer than this depending on the options on the guitars and uh, so a basic one is like two to three months yeah wow. and then if we go with a very fancy model it can go over 250 hours in there and over six months wow yeah what takes the most time hmm what takes the finishing the finish? well it depends everything is takes pretty long but it's Building a guitar is just a succession of uh, very precise uh, steps. So you start by jointing the top, jointing the back, then thicknessing the top and back, gluing the bracing, doing the rosette, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, a, a succession of small steps that getting together makes a guitar. But I guess the finishing is the the, the longest uh, step 
also for the for the mind because it's pretty yeah it's everything a, has to be tight right? yeah it has to be perfect and you can do the the best job in the world on woodworking but if your finishing it is not is not right you just screw up all the work you've done before so mm -hmm. endless learning process yeah for sure yeah i can even start to think how to begin something like that <laughs> if you want to see a, a fancier model i can show you this one yeah this so one. these are all your builds over here? Um, uh, pretty much. Uh, those three here are mine. This one is uh, f uh, belongs to a client of mine. And those two here are uh, my uh, roommate's guitars. He, oh, wow. he made at school in the Lutheran So school. you guys are all builders here? All mm -hmm. builders, yeah. So this one is a very fancy model that took me about 250 hours. Wow. It's, a, it's a model of my own design, it's called the Moonchild model. Moonchild? So, yeah, this is a tribute to a King Crimson song. Alright. <laughs> so this one is, is the, the other the light so we can see yeah, a little yeah. better. Yeah, show it to us. Yeah, so this one has a sinker red cedar top and uh, Macassar ebony back and sides. Wow, Madagascar ebony? Yeah. Back and sides? I've never heard about yeah. ebony as for the solid. body. All solid wood, yeah. Wow. It can, it can happen sometime. And so mahogany Look neck. Look at this wood, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's <laughs> Beautiful. pretty dark but you have a lot of uh, like golden, uh, goldish stri uh, stripes wow. in there. And a, lot, and a lot of fancy details on, so all the binding is uh, black ebony as, as well. Wow. So, pretty dark themed uh, guitar. And what kind of neck is that? Mahogany? Yeah. Uh, curly mahogany. Wow. So, this one features an armrest, uh, cutaway, plated cutaway, because uh -huh. this shape is pretty unique, and so when you do the when you do the, theme, the symmetry between the shoulders of the body, mm -hmm. uh, you get this point here. And if you put the the cutaway here, you you, you have a plate when you, where you can you can get a bit crazy on the decoration here. Wow. Yeah. So what, what does this symbolize? Anything or? Well, I'm, it would pretty much went with the flow of what I was feeling when I was designing the guitar. Uh, I I tried to to keep the same theme all around. So this is Coco Bolo. Um, here it is a kind of a mosaic with a Macassar ebony and a maple a veneer mm -hmm. and then this is some blue burl, blue uh, maple burl. So I, those three uh, elements I tried to repeat it on the rosette here, here on the truss rod cover as well. Beautiful. Yeah. Well we need to hear that also. Yeah. You want to play I for us something? Uh, I can let you play if you want. <laughs> I'm not. Right. I'm not so great of a player, and I have no nails. <laughs> so how, how does this? How does this work? Like, because I see it's very. Yeah, ungodly. this is a fan fret guitar. So basically, each string uh, has its own scale length. Okay, so the uh, bottom string is 26, 26 inches scale length, and the okay. the treble string is twenty five inches. So. Uh, so that's why it, it looks yeah. like it's a little bit angled. Like yeah, so can e see. every fret is angled, so the the, the nut is tangled uh, like this. Yeah, it gives and, it a very dynamic and look. And the saddle is is in, t t tangled in the in the other way, which makes that the bass strings have mm -hmm. more length than the than the treble strings, oh, which okay. helps for the bass response. Oh, okay. Because you have more more tension on the on the bass end of the guitar. Yeah. Sweet. And also sometimes some some players like it for the the ergonomic side of it. Uh -huh. So you, you you can think you would think that uh, it would be a bit odd to play on this, but actually you don't really feel it. And it, and even for some uh, positions it can be easier. I think yeah. Cool. We'll check but it out. In yeah, the you can give we'll it play a something on it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what's the name of this guitar? This is a Moonchild. Moonchild Moon right. model, yeah. This is a pretty small sized one, close to a double O guitar. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, my, I love this model. Um, I love the wood here. I, uh, yeah, I this is Sinker Red Cedar from BC, Canada. Wow. And a uh, very old wood, perfectly quarter uh, sewn. Yeah, I love it. I finished this one in May mm -hmm. this year and uh, yeah, it's up for demos and showcase, guitar showcase and uh, I, I plan to travel with it uh, wherever I can go to show it. So, nice, it's yeah. also got an armrest here I see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's ebony? Uh, well, the binding is ebony and actually uh, the, the veneer on there is just a black, uh, black stained veneer. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of a squared arm bevel, pretty tricky to make. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of people do that. Also, I have I, I incorporated a small thumb rest on the corner of the cutaway here. Wow. A lot of thought, a lot of ergonomics on this one. Yeah, ergonomics and. And when the fretboard is also ebony. Yeah. Nice. All right, we need to hear this. All right, we'll okay. check it out. How does this? How does this work? Like, because I see it's very. Yeah, this is a fan fret guitar. So basically, each string uh, has its own scale length. Okay, so the uh, bottom string is 26, 26 inches scale length, and the okay. the treble string is twenty five inches. So. Uh, so that's why it, lo it yeah. looks like it's a little bit angled. Though, so like yeah, so can see. every fret is angled. So the 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 nut is tangled uh, like this yeah, it gives and, it a very dynamic and look. the saddle is is in t t tangled in the in the other way which makes that the bass strings have mm. more length than the than the treble strings and which helps for the bass response oh, okay. because you have more more tension on the on the bass end of the guitar yeah so some players like it for the the ergonomic side of it uh -huh. so y you you can think you would think that uh, it would be a bit odd to play on this, but actually you don't really feel it. And, it, and even for some uh, positions, it can be easier, I think, yeah. Cool, we'll check but it out in Yeah, you can give we'll it a We'll play something on it, yeah, yeah, definitely. This is a pretty small sized one, close to a double O guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, my, I love this model. Um, I love the wood here. I've, uh, yeah, really this fun. is Sinker Red Cedar from BC. Canada. Wow. And a very old wood, perfectly quarter uh, sewn. Yeah, I love it. I, I finished this one in May mm -hmm. this year, and uh, yeah, it's up for demos and showcase, guitar showcase, and uh, I, I plan to travel with it. Uh, so, got an armrest here, I see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's ebony? Uh, well, the binding is ebony, and actually, uh, the the veneer on there is just a uh, black uh, black stained veneer. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people do that. Also, I have uh, I incorporated a small thumb rest on the corner of the cutaway here. Wow, a lot of thought, a lot of ergonomics on this one. Yeah, ergonomics and. And when the fretboard is also ebony. Yeah. Nice. All right, we need to hear this. All right, we'll okay. check it out in a few minutes. All right, let's see a big piece of ebony. Here, so we bought it uh, together ago. with Julian. This big, big piece here. We're gonna the one on the right, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. We're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna get a yeah, couple some, back insights from some it. Some nice back insights. Wow. Yeah, maybe you want to. This move is Payamoon ebony from Indonesia. Wow. It weighs yeah, maybe it's about pretty heavy. thirty pounds, something like that. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so thirty pounds. Good. This is really a unique wood. Yeah, you want me to yeah. hold it for you? Yeah. Wow, it's like marble. Yeah. <laughs> it's really heavy, yeah. Amazing. There are a couple of cracks in there, but we're gonna be able to avoid So you it. basically I cut it off like, like this? Like thin, yeah, so, and then so, you So we, we just it, right? cut slices from it, uh, and then we thickness them to get back in size. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty pre-cracked in some places, but we can... How old is this wood? Um, it's not so old, I think. Maybe the, the, the tree might have been about yeah. 40 or 50 years old, maybe. That's old. But we, it's pretty hard to guess and you can't... It's not... 
Yeah. And you have to dry it also, right? Yeah, yeah. we have to keep it drying for, for several year, years wow. before using it. But yeah, it's pretty tough depending on the, on the provider to, to know all the information. So the age of the, of the tree and stuff like that, you can't have this, <clears throat> this information all the time. But yeah. Looking Beautiful, forward I love to it. use it. If you guys want a roommate, I'll move in. <laughs> <laughs> flame maple. Yeah, flame maple. Canadian Shit maple. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Mahogany neck, same thing. Mahogany and, neck, flame uh, maple. And see that there's also... Yeah, a small sound hold uh, that helps a lot for the bass response and for the player it's pretty good. You have like a big bass blast in your face when you play it. It's pretty nice. Uh, Sitka spruced up, really silky one, perfectly quarrelsome, and this is uh, Makassar Ebony, uh, all the the, the appointments on the and guitar. the fretboard? Fretboard, head plate, bridge, rosette. <laughs>
Yeah, man. I love this guitar. <laughs> cool.